Hi, this is Jared with Shunome, and today I wanted to do hopefully a very quick video on uh, work environments in ArchiCAD, specifically how to um, import, export, and make a couple changes. So what we're looking at right now is the default work environment in ArchiCAD, which if you've watched some videos or read some of my blog posts on work environments, you know I am not a fan of. Um, you can watch videos I did about a year ago on why that is. I'm not going to talk about that today. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Options, Work Environment, and over to Work Environments. So a quick overview of work environments. There's kind of two things you need to understand. First, there are overall schemes, uh, work environment profile schemes, and then individual um, storable schemes for different aspects of the work environment. So you can have user preference schemes, and in here you can control you know, what the dialog boxes look like, how mouse constraints work, guidelines, whether you want ARCHICAD sounds to be enabled, which you don't because they are the most annoying sounds in the history of noise. Um, your on-screen display options, like whether you want your um, master items and layouts to have a specific color or be um, their original colors, all sorts of things, and again, more than we want to go into today. Um, so each one of these here is then part of a work environment profile, which is down here. So if we go to, let's go to my custom one, and go to edit, you can see in my profile, which is ShoeGnome, I can control a, a, a user preference scheme, a company standard scheme, all this. And so I can either go with the default or make it um, custom. And if you're changing these, how that works, um, for instance, a, say, let's go to more options, say I want to turn on sounds. Uh, right now, if I were to go to ShoeGnome, hit apply scheme, hit OK, uh, right now that's set to default. If I enable sounds, I go back here, I'm now custom. I can go ahead and store that as something new or I could highlight mine and go redefine. And if I do that, my uh, preference scheme will now be redefined to have sounds enabled, which I'm not going to do. Um, so all this stuff you're going to change here and redefine, store as, etc. Uh, the one exception is under palette schemes. What this is is how all these things are arranged and how that works is on the screen, you you know you set these up however you want. You know you turn on palettes and windows and all this stuff, and then you go up to work environment, down to um, palette schemes, and then you can store this. And what it's storing is how all the windows and toolbars and everything it says it right here how that's all stored. Um, so if you want to apply everything, you can apply individual schemes by selecting it and hitting apply and so what that does is you know I'm applying just my toolbar schemes but I haven't applied all my profiles or all my individual schemes within here if I want to do that I can select shoe gnome and apply and what that's gonna do it's gonna apply all of these so all this you know, sub schemes let's go ahead and do that if I hit OK now my screen rearranges to look the way I want and all my other um, information, all the other changes like more options, all that is set. Now, if I wanted to import a profile, I could go over to um, individually for each one of these sub schemes, or what's best to do is the overall work environment scheme. Click import. Um, ArchiCAD is going to browse, its default is going to actually browse within the um, ArchiCAD. Um, application folder. I happen to already have one sitting on my desktop, so I select that. Um, hit choose, and now ArchiCAD is going to be smart enough to see the work environment that's in that folder, so you just select that, hit import, and it will appear there. Um, what will appear is the overall profile with all its sub-schemes and then each individual one here. Uh, likewise, if you want to share this with someone, you can click the uh, the export button and then choose where you want to export it to, hit export 
and what you're going to see is a folder that's got um, all these XML files with all this information in there. Um, I think that's all better. I want, I want to keep this fairly short. The last thing I want to cover is um, when you have a scheme set up, you want to click Set as Default. What that's going to do is when you open up ARCHICAD, this is going to be your default, um, so you don't have to muck with that. Um, I don't think this is the greatest video I've done in the world, but hopefully it covers the basics for importing and exporting work environments. Um, thank you very much.